That's a bar. <laughs> that is a bar. Yo, y'all heard what he said? Yo, yo, it's Prodigy. We're back with another reaction video. This time, 21 Savage Red Rum. You seen the title. You know what's about to go on. So if you find yourself liking the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description. Here's some comments from the previous videos without further ado. Let's chop this up. I hey, swear when you not think of England, you not think big yards, yo, yo. man, big hat. <laughs> Posh touch, drinking tea in Buckingham Palace. Big wow. Ben and black cabs, them telephone buses, you know, love to take pictures and shit. Love you feeling just brecky and all of that. Nah, bro. Let me tell you something. That's just what they show you, innit? That's not what we see. That ain't the bits. That ain't normal. Should, should I react to this whole album? Let me know. Okay. I mess with it. I, I like 21's growth, though. But I, I think he old as hell. He like 30 songs. <laughs> That's not old, though, but like, you know what I mean. I ain't even know. <laughs> I ain't even know I was gonna sync with him like that. Like I, I never heard this song before. I was just saying red rum, red rum, red rum. Yeah, like if y'all seen my other reactions, y'all know I just do random ad libs and just do my own thing when like they talking. I ain't know that was gonna match. I'm not gonna lie. All we know is red, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. G block. All we know is red rum, red yeah. rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. Nigga, all we no ball game. This is fire animation, bro. I like what they doing with the music video, though. Wh whoever, I forgot the director, but like they put directed by blank in the beginning and I was like, yo, that's cool. That's a cool effect. And like, it's very complimentary to like what they got going on in there. You feel me? So it, it just fits right in. I like I like how they just passed that. Hypnotize, they do what I say. Yeah. 21 niggas don't play. My Glock Gen 5 said, hey. Take my chopper everywhere, that's bait. Yeah. Get your ass out the car, you give it trade. What? what? We been spinning through they hood all day. All day. Niggas say they outside, okay. 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 I can't let a bitch play me no way. No way. You a I, I thought he was about to say, I can't let a bitch play me like Broadway. Ooh, that, that would have been such a fire bar, bro. 21, 21, let me write for you, bro. I, I swear, we, we gonna get it right. <laughs> we gonna be like fire fire. Believe a whole say, whole say. She got wet, make me no way. No way. What kind of car is he driving though? Like, I need to know. That's a flex, cause T T S A be dragging shit, bro. Like T S A be dragging everything, bro. And like, if you don't gotta walk through T S A to like get where you need to be, bro. That's fire, bro. Good flex. You a lame pussy? She knew I was leaving before I even came. Ooh. Two revolvers on my waist, John Wayne. That's a bar. <laughs> that is a bar, yo. Y'all heard what he said? If y'all hear what it said, back it up. Let's do it again. She knew I was leaving before. The double entendre is crazy. She knew I was leaving before I even came. Two revolvers on my waist, John Wayne. Smack niggas, then I get on live and sing. Woo! Yeah. Want it all, I won't leave a breadcrumb. Bitch, what I thought a nigga said something. Said something? Thought a nigga said something. Oh, what? G block, all we know is red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red I ain't gonna lie, this, this, <laughs> like, bro, this, this hook is catchy, catchy. Imagine this in the clubs, bro. I don't even go to clubs, but imagine, like, imagine what that's gonna do. We, we need some new club anthems anyway, because we, we've been on that Dreams and Nightmares and first day out for mad long, bro. Like, <laughs> come on, they need to change it up. How many niggas got the belt? A lot. Catch him at the light, he get nailed. Now I'm one, one, somebody help. Sub tween bad for your health, pussy. I'm a gangster, I ain't taking shit back, pussy. I never do no song with no rap, pussy. Put Ooh, a leg hold on, back it up, back it up. Sub 
between bad for your health, pussy. I'm a gangster, I ain't taking shit back, pussy. I never do no. I'm a gangster, I ain't taking nothing back. I, I had to run that back and think about it. I was like, what? He, what he mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Are you going to jail, buddy? But he made it clear the reason that he's not taking anything back is because he never got it taken from him in the first place. You P game, like, <laughs> yeah, bet you I ain't know that, bet you I. Ain't. You know what? I feel that. I feel that. You know what y'all think about like snitching? Like, when, when do you think it's okay to snitch? Because I feel like I asked this in some of my other videos, but I never really got a response. So I got to ask it in this video too. What What do y'all think, or when do y'all think it's an appropriate appropriate time to snitch? Right? Do y'all think it was appropriate for Takashi to snitch in this situation? And I'll, I'll give y'all a briefing on what happened there. His gang was fornicating with his baby mama, kidnapped him and his mama, and was extorting him for money, for protection money, and wasn't doing their job, if that makes sense. So he, he, he was giving them bodyguard money, but they weren't bodyguarding. So what, what do y'all think about that? Like, do you think it was appropriate for him to snitch then, or like he should have still kept his mouth closed and do time for a gang that really, really was using him for his money? Hmm. I, I don't know, I don't know. If y'all wanna see like, or understand more about that video, just go watch Trap Lord Ross's like documentary on it. Cause like, I, I like him cause he, he brings all the facts and he just presents all the facts. That's it. He doesn't really put his opinion in it too much. But I, sometimes, cause like in that King Von documentary, he, he he did put his opinion out there. It, it was a good documentary. I just don't like, you know, some, some of the comments he made about it, but you know, that, that that's what makes me human. We don't gotta agree all the time, but I, I appreciate him bringing all the facts because you know that that's a hard job to do but we getting off topic let's get back to it so once again do you think it's appropriate for Tory Lanez to snitch on Megan Thee Stallion and what, what what's her name Casey he, he knows something that that could probably get him off but he's not telling nothing because he, he he got fired or something what that's probably gonna do send in that jail cell for 10 years man because you just want to prove something lose 10 years of your life man <laughs> That's crazy. And yo, it, you, you might think I'm talking like a rat, but it's just like, the only way that I'm not snitching is either A, me, me and them, like, is doing it together. I'm, I'm never gonna sell out my brothers. Like, never gonna sell out my brothers next, never gonna sell out people that's close to me, right? That's the only times I, I, I think you should stand on business when it comes to snitching. Like, you, you don't don't say nothing. Like, don't, don't say that you gang. Don't, don't say that you my brother. Or like you, you really mess with me. You, you my good friend, best friend, and then go snitch. Like that, that, that's the point I understand. But same thing with the ops. Like, like it's kind, it's kind of crazy. But like with the ops, y'all know like who, who beefing, right? Yeah, I know who did what. But you, you telling could do a whole lot of stuff. Keep it silent because if one of y'all start talking. Y'all both going to jail. Like, <laughs> let's be honest. Let's be honest. I, I think some people said that it's okay to snitch. If it doesn't put anybody in jeopardy, if that makes sense. I, I guess, but snitching, it always benefits like somebody. Like that gunner situation. He he got out got out because he, he admitted that like something was a gang, right? And mind you, Young Thug is facing Rico R Rico charges, right? So they can have evidence, but it's all a conspiracy. By him admitting that information, he's adding to the conspiracy because his his word holds a lot of weight since he is a rapper. So that I, I don't agree with because mind you like the stuff he raps about the things he like agrees with granted I'm not gonna lie I don't listen to his music so I don't know if he actually raps about it but it's just like if that's your man that's somebody that you hold dearly to your heart I, I wouldn't even do that I, I would just sit out the time because I, I don't know what the feds had on him right but the reason they gave him the plea is because they knew they didn't have enough to like get him locked up for a long time two three years ain't nothing but ten years is different so I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm a novice in this situation. Let me know what y'all think about this, all right? So thank y'all for watching to this point. Let's get back to the video. I'm off topic. Take off his chain. 
saying suck with me, your ass must do cocaine. Damn. They own it all, I won't leave a breadcrumb. Ooh. Bitch, what I thought a nigga said something. What? Thought a nigga said something. Are they the UK for this one? G Block, all we know is red rum. Red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. Hold up, hold up. All we know is red rum, red rum. I gotta ask something. It might get me canceled though. Nigga, all we know is. Here, right, Rose in a wheelchair, 21 Savage in a motorcycle. Who y'all got winning? <laughs> winning in a race. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> what did he say? Oh. You're done. You're done. Run, red, run, red. Not by the hair on your chin, chin, chin. Being in a wheelchair is not funny puff. at all. That I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a bad joke. <laughs> I'm prone to laugh at bad jokes, though. I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry, like three times. <laughs> Directed Danny Seth. Shout out Danny Seth, man. He did a fire video. That was Red Rum by 21 Savage. It's fire. It's fire. Like, we, we had a kind, kind of hefty conversation today. So let me know what y'all think about that. Because, like, at what point is it snitching is always going to be a topic of conversation. Especially when you're, you're the one snitching. <laughs> like, like, bro, I ain't even snitch. I, I just told him it wasn't me. Blah, blah, blah. There's only one other person in the car. <laughs> <laughs> let me chill, let me chill. But uh yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you find yourself liking the video, please like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm Prada J. I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you live life till your heart is full. Deuces. Wait, feel free to follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description. Peace. <laughs>